children. Go ahead. How many thousands of Jews? Thousands of who? Jews. Of who? Jews. Of who? Jews. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Which what? Which believe? They hear this truth. They come out of the mindset they in, and they believe in the Lord again. They do what they do. They change their life. They stop killing each other and stop loving each other and start hating the ones that hurt each other. about Joel Osteen, man. Oh, God. God absolutely approves of homosexuals, says Joel Osteen. Now, we just had a damn, um, we just had the no homo election, right? We just had it. On the back of that, here comes this article. This is a direct attack against the truth, huh? But well, we got your back, that's all right, y'all. Here we go now, brother. We're going to answer this. Read. One of America's most well-known evangelical pastors, Joel Osteen, recently declared that God absolutely approves of everyone, including homosexuals. Now, hold on. It said he absolutely approves of everyone, including homosexuals. Where's that found out in the Bible? Huh? Where's the found out in the Bible, man? Where the Lord said he approves of everyone. Absolutely approves of everyone. Now, I'm going to give you a scripture on that. To prove the lie and the falseness of what this Edomite is saying, man. You got your pocket book? Hold on. I got one for you, brother. And I want 2nd Andrew 6 and 54. You know what I want. 2nd Andrew 6 and 54. Then I want a scripture where the Bible says that he changed not. The Lord said he don't change. You understand? Oh, He's false philosophy, the doctor popping on the earth, man. Like it's right according to the Lord. Because the people want to be loved by the so-called white man. They want their money, their power, their authority, man. But we want the power and authority that come from the Lord. That's everlasting, man. You got it? Oh, God. Read. Second Ezra chapter 6. Verse 54. Good. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Good. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam. Good. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. The people whom the Lord has chosen, man. Meaning what? On the earth, the Lord got a set of people that he chose. Only for him. This Ken Olsen said, God approve of everyone. Let's see what the Lord is saying in the Bible. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, mm -hmm. because thou madest the world for our sakes. For whose sakes? Our sakes. The one the Lord showed. That's who the Lord made the world for, man. That's who we're talking about. Our sakes. Who was our? The 12 tribes. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. Three. As for the other people. As for what? The other people. As for the other nations. Now, the cat made a statement that God approved of everyone. See what the Lord said about that. Read. Which also come of Adam. Go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? Nothing. God said that everybody don't come for the 12, 12 nation of Israel. They nothing, man. Keep on. But be like unto spittle. Unto what? Spittle. You know you got a nasty taste in your mouth? And you got to spit that taste out your mouth? That's how God feels about these other nations. You gonna tell me God don't approve of everyone? That's a goddamn lie told by the so-called white man. And every Negro in America that don't read the Bible, that don't do no studies, you believe in that garbage. Now, give me Malachi 3 and 6. Give me Malachi 3 and 6, man. God approves of everyone. No, he don't. 
died of proof of homosexuals. God killed homosexuals. You got it? Okay. Read. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Read. For I am the Lord. Say it again. I am the Lord. The Bible says, I am Yah Yahweh is what that means. Go ahead. I change not. He said he what? I change not. He don't change. Nothing the Lord wrote in the Bible changed, man. Read. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. We ain't consumed all of the evil out here, man. But these false philosophies and doctrines, these things going on. God don't approve of everyone, including those damn homosexuals. Now, let's go back to the article. Let's go back to the article. Uh, where it says the Houston Mega Pastor. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna read, read some more of this here now. Jesus God being taught on the earth. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's imperative, brothers, that you get up in this truth, man. We need strong warriors in here gonna stand for the Lord, man. Life or death. Not gonna bend, not gonna buckle, man. I wonder why UPK is so damn hardcore. I wonder why you not. We ain't got no time for no soft homosexual faggoty, homosexual garbage, man. We need men up in here. Huh? Tighten your belt, put the boots on, and time to go to war against the evil against our people, man. It's that time. You got it, Holy Warrior? Oh, God. Finish reading the article. The Houston mega pastor and best selling author has been touring to all the talk shows lately to promote his new book, Break Out Five Keys to Go Beyond Your Barriers and Live an Extraordinary Life. I mean, live like a damn sinner is what he's trying to say. Go ahead. Osteen, who has been the pastor of Lakewood Church in Houston since 1999, recently talked to Huffington Post about several subjects, including his thoughts on including homosexuality. Including what? His thoughts. His what? His thoughts. His thoughts. Hold that up. Give me Isaiah the 55th chapter, brother, okay. on your thoughts. And all Israel better take heed to this, man. And I'm saying that God don't give a damn about what you think. You think God think like you? Heck no. God ain't trying to live like you. He ain't trying to think like you. They got to be like the Lord. Read Isaiah 55 verse 8, brother. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. You see that? The way you think is the way the Lord thinks. The Lord don't give a goddamn how you think or what your thoughts are. The Lord don't care, man. If your thoughts don't bother with the Bible and go to the scripture and say, God ain't trying to hear your thoughts, man. This is a cat you listen to? This is a cat you think that somebody got knowledge of the Lord? Because he's smiling your goddamn face? Because he got money? His words are sweet? He the damn devil the Bible speak of, meaning he a deceiver and a liar. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. See, the Lord ain't trying to care about how you do things and your way of doing things. Go ahead. Say it the Lord. Go ahead, keep on reading. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, uh -huh. so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. You see that, man? That's how God feels about your thoughts, man. His thoughts on homosexuality. Who asked this man about his thoughts, uh, uh, a God? Nobody. Who? If you're a man of the law, you got to teach what the Bible says, man. This is the same thing that traitor Martin Luther King did to us. His thoughts, his thoughts. And y'all still follow men who say their thoughts. And they don't go with what the Bible says. And you wonder why, why we die in a land called America. They killing us out, outright still. And then trying to say, well, we got to love everybody and accept this, accept that. Why the cat's lying on the Bible, man. Keep on reading. Go back to the article. Right? His thoughts on what? Homosexuality. On what? Homosexuality. Go ahead. Huffington Post live host Josh Zepps quoted from Osteen's book. It doesn't matter who likes you or who doesn't like you. All that matters is God likes you. He accepted you. He approves of you. Now, okay. He said this. All that matters is the most high like you, right? If the most high accept you. Now, in the Bible, the Bible says being a homosexual is a, is a sin. Give me the Leviticus 20 and 13. It's an abomination. 
So it means you committing a sin being a homosexual. And we're going to find out how Lord Bill feels about sin and the ones who commit the sin. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Mm -hmm. If a man also lie with mankind. You know how a man lie with mankind. You know what it's talking about. Talk about two homosexuals. That's what it's saying. That's why Paul said in the book of Romans, the things written aforetime was going to be for our learning. Aforetime meaning uh, the word afore is a prefix, which means before in time and order. Before the things were written in the New Testament, you had the Old Testament, and it was written for your learning. The Lord, you will learn from the Lord when he said, don't be no homosexual. You understand? Don't lie with a man like you lie with a woman. You understand me? At the age of young age, my boys, they want to lay in the bed with dad. They want to they lay in the bed with mom and go to sleep, but they, they ain't want to lay in the bed with me no more. And I understood. They becoming young men. Don't lie in the bed with a man like you lie in the bed with a woman. That's what the Bible is saying. Read. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of you have done something evil, man. An abomination, which means... It is a sin, according to the Lord, man. That's why that lecture that Captain Zariac did so was so good, man. And on the back of that lecture, here he comes with this damn statement, man. Right. A direct attack against the truth and our brothers in the school. You understand that? A direct attack. Don't think they ain't watching us. They see us. They hear what we're saying. We the buzz talk all over the whole earth, man. They understand what's going on. That's why I keep pushing the truth, y'all. We got those soldiers in the ICBK. That's right. You understand? A man who's going to live or die for this truth, man. You understand me? Now, hold that and give me John 9, 31. The book of John, the ninth chapter, verse 31. Give me that. And when the Lord said this, man, he ain't hearing no sinners. If you're doing something that's an abomination to the Most High, that is called a sin. And let's see how the Lord feel about sinners. You understand that? About sinners, the ones who commit the act. The Lord don't love no damn homosexual, man. He giving them HIV AIDS. Is that love? You dying from AIDS. John. The ninth chapter, verse 31. You got it? Yes, sir. Read. John chapter 9, verse 31. Come on. Now we know that the most high here is not sinners. So the Lord ain't here no damn sinner, man. So if you a sinner, a homosexual, and think the Lord ain't, Lord ain't hearing you. But guess who is hearing you? Your white Jesus is hearing you. Because your white Jesus is Caesar Borgia, the son of a pope. You understand? And he the might. And he was a homosexual. So yeah, he hearing you. But the God of the Bible ain't hearing you, man. He hear not sinners. Now, give me the apocryphal. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 6. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 6. We're going to drop this, go to the next one, man. But it says it's irrelevant if, if, if he continue to quote the quote from the Bible. We need that scripture there, brother. Oh, my God. The Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, verse 6. You got a warrior? Yes, sir. Read. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 6. Mm -hmm. For the most high hateth sinners. Say it again. The most high hateth So sinners. when you're doing homosexuality, right, and you're homosexual, you're a sinner. The Lord said he just hates sinners, man. So the Lord hates you being a homosexual. Read. And we will pay. Vengeance unto the ungodly. Meaning you are an ungodly person being a homosexual, man. Lord said he's going to give you vengeance. You know what the vengeance is, man? HIV AIDS. Your life being hell, man. Them homosexual relationships are so volatile and ridiculous, man. You understand that? All the way they act, the fighting, the killing, they going amongst them, that whole world, that whole lifestyle, man. You understand? Give me wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 9, last scripture. Then we we'll go to the next, the next one, man. Like Christianity being irrelevant, if it continues to quote from the Bible. 
was Messiah. It's at the 14 verse 9. Go ahead. For the ungodly. For the what? For the ungodly. Ungodly means you commit an abomination. You a sinner. Go ahead. And his ungodliness. Your actions, what you do being a sinner. Go ahead. Are both alike. The Lord considered them both the same thing. Go ahead. Hateful. Say it again. Hateful. Say it again. Hateful. Hateful. The Lord hate them damn things, man. This damn eating my smile on your face and say, God loves everyone, even if you're homosexual. But God said, your ex is being a homosexual, and you, he hate both of them. Three. Are uh, both alike, hateful unto God. Now, I understand why Esau is doing what they're doing, man. I look at it from their side. They get hit with this truth that's being pushed out in the ICPK that started with us. It's all over the earth now. Now, with that being said, they got to try to combat it some kind of way. They can't come back with the Bible's verses because they're going to get smashed with us in the Bible verses. Now they're going to say, well, God love everybody. God accepts you no matter what they say. And because the man got money, because he got a lot of people listening to him, because he's smiling in your face, you think it's the right way, man. But no, it ain't the right way. That way going to get you killed. You understand that? It's going to get you killed, but it's going to get you to go away from the Lord and the Bible. When people talk all that, they talk that humanity stuff, or you humans, or we all one. They want you to leave from what the words of the Lord says. Go to the next story, Akkad, where it says Christianity irrelevant if it continues to quote from the Bible. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to break down what that means, man, and what they're trying to do to us as the people. You understand that? We better continue to quote from the Bible. We better continue to live what the Bible says. Don't make no goddamn excuses no more. You Israel, you live like you're in this new life. You don't hide who you are. You quote from the Bible. You live these scriptures, man. And if you need help, like I know most of you do if you ain't in our classes, you better get in our classes. You better contact the officer near you and learn how to be the correct the right way, man. You understand that? We need these words from the Bible. That's our life. You got it out? Come on, sir. Let me catch up with you, brother. Stop. I'm going to catch that story, too. You understand? I'm going to get that story, too, man. Because we need to have these things here, man. This story here is so important. It's ridiculous. It's so important, man. You understand? Hold on. Let me catch up with you. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, wait, here we go. I got you. I'm coming online with you right now, God. Because we need this here, brother. Boy, oh, boy, do we need this here. While we waiting for this to pull up, give me Luke 16 and 12, 15. Luke 16 and 15, where the Lord says, Them that are highly esteemed among you are an abomination to the Lord. Give me that one. Give me Luke 16, I'm thinking 15. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It was 16. Man. I think it's 15. What did I say? No, 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 how they esteem. Is that it? No, it says, yeah, they just justify so before, man. Yes, yes, it is. It All is. right, that's it. Go ahead, read that out. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. Mm -hmm. and, and he said unto them, mm -hmm. Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. Say it again. Ye are they. Was justify yourselves before men. You know why these so-called spiritual uh, uh, mega packs and all them go to all the rich of Israel? Because they are they are the ones we, we put on the pedestal as being somebody successful. We equate money with success with success in this land called America, which is wrong. Because a man got money, don't mean he's successful, or don't mean he's a righteous person, man. You understand me? You hear me, man? But we equate that with success. That's why the Lord got this in the scriptures, man. Finish reading. But the most high knoweth your heart. Go ahead. For that which is highly esteemed among men. When you look at these people like Oprah Winfrey, uh, uh, and all them cats that they were money. I see her in specific because this next article, this cat here was a, a so-called mega church pastor, leader, Christian, whatever the case may be. And now I turn a spiritual advisor to Oprah Winfrey. Now you know why she hate black people. Now you know why she don't do nothing for black people. You understand that? Because she's really down with Esau and his philosophy and doctrine. And got a spiritual advisor that's a white man. That's some hell. 
Yeah. Ain't no way in the world. I, even if I'm in the world, I had enough sense to have no damn spirit to rise to be a white man. Unless I really was down to be a white society. And the hell with my people. And that's what they're doing out here today. Is that a little scripture? Nah. Finish reading. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of the most high. See that, right? Abomination in the sight of the Lord. Now, let's get the article out. Now, read the title of the article. Pastor, Christianity, irrelevant if it continues quoting the Bible. Now, here's what it's talking about, y'all, in reality. Do Christians quote the Bible? If it ain't for John 3.16, that's all they really say. They ain't really saying no, no deep thing in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Who really quote from the Bible? You Israelites. You understand that? You brothers and sisters. You understand? Do I say we're going to be irrelevant? No, we're not going to be irrelevant, man. We're going to teach this truth all over the earth, man. Go ahead, Akai. I'd block yourself if I could, sir. So mm -hmm. what happened to be bringing out, especially this article, because black people have always been irrelevant to Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. We've always been irrelevant to that traitor. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like Oprah Winfrey has always separated herself from black people. When I mean black people, you could be a rich black person. You understand? You could be rich, wealthy. You understand? As far as you being another black person that joins American society, Oprah ain't got no problem with that. But Oprah or rather feeds some filthy African in the middle of a jungle putting piss and feces on his head to feed the brothers and sisters in Chicago. You understand? She building schools in Africa. You understand? While America is shutting down all the schools in the black community and building more prisons. You understand? Like this is what we always continue to be saying to try to teach black people the type of leadership that has failed us and caused us to be sinners against the Lord is because of traitors like Oprah Winfrey. We have always been irrelevant to her. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to say, sir. Most high in Christ. Let's read the article, brother. Read right underneath that quote. The title, rather. I'm sorry. Come on, cut. Christianity, it's like a pastor. Christianity, irrelevant if it continues quoting the Bible. Rob Bell. Hold on, go back up. Right underneath that, it oh, says something. Like I want you to read that, brother. Says church must accept homosexuality. Say it again. Says church must accept homosexuality. Saying that it must accept homosexuality, man. You hear me, right? This is why he's saying it. Let me tell you something, man. We ain't got to accept no goddamn homosexuality. You understand? You hear me? We ain't got to accept this garbage. We ain't got to, man. You live and die with the words of the Lord say. Keep on reading. Rob Bell, former mega church pastor turned spiritual advisor to Oprah Winfrey. To who? To Oprah Winfrey. Now, he know he got the air of life. Why? Because we love Oprah Winfrey, man. She's somebody special and looking like somebody being somebody great, man. But she had nothing but a whore for the white man. Period. Like all your black leaders, all your black successes in America, they whores for the so-called white man. You understand? Go ahead. Said that the culture is ready to embrace homosexuality and same-sex marriage. Mm -hmm. And if the church hosts... It says the what? It says the culture is ready to embrace homosexuality and same-sex marriage. And if the church hopes to stay relevant, it must accept those relationships and stop looking to the Bible as the, its best defense. Uh, you see, you hear that, right? You hear that, right? That's what they say. This is what Esau said, because Esau know his end is coming. He know this is the end for him. He know the Bible talks about him being destroyed. How did a flip and change the verse of the Bible? They know this, man. And they also know that this Bible here is our best defense. They know who we are. Give me the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, brother. Let me show y'all something, man. Let me show y'all something, man. Give me Jeremiah 50, man. Hold on, let me get that with you. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting there, hold on. Fifty and verse seven. Jeremiah the fifty chapter verse seven. Jeremiah chapter fifty verse seven. 
All that found them have devoured them. Who found us? The so-called white man. He found us. Put us in captivity, man. Surround us by the other nations who are devouring us, who eat off of us. They got all the businesses in the ghetto while we suffer and dying. They got all the jobs while we suffer and dying. How we got a community with no goddamn jobs for ourselves? You understand? And they know black people want to find the law. They know we want to be a spiritual people. You understand? They know we got to be trying to find the most high. So now they feed us garbage and lies. Now they even tell us that they know that the Bible is a defense. So just stop looking at it being a defense. They know it, man. Why are they saying that? Because they hear them brothers on the street corners teaching all over earth, man. They hear these soldiers and the ISUPK teaching. They didn't see the YouTube clips. They didn't watch the video. They didn't see it all of it, man. And they know we hit home and everything, man. They know we about to change the fabric of this nation. We about to get into a soul of black Hispanic Native Indians, man. To bring them back to their father, man. To bring them back to the truth. They know it. So now they got to come up with this garbage head, man. You understand? Keep on reading. And their adversary said, we offend not. They ain't doing, we ain't doing that wrong. Go ahead. Because they have because they have sinned against the Lord. They know as long as they keep us away from the Lord and his words, that they're going to be on top of us, man. That's why he is saying to get them away from the Bible being their defense, man. To stop looking to the Bible as his best defense, meaning stop looking to the Lord for your hope. Don't change. Keep being what you've been, man, so we can keep on exploiting and ruling over you, man. That's why the Lord said this, man. I'm so thankful for Commander Jody Hanna, man. Y'all don't understand what that brother did and the impact he's having in the earth, man. You understand it, man. From a spiritual point of view, that man stood against the onslaught of evil huh? and stood strong, and the Lord joined brothers to him, man. And now we raised them more brothers. They keep what was originally taught to push it through the earth. You understand that? They crush these lies, and they see it, and they know it. But guess what? They can't stop it. These words here, we're going to bring them out. And we're going to question the Bible. And they ain't going to stop Israel from rising again. Thus says the most high power, man. You understand that? Any more of that scripture out? Sorry. Read. The habitation of justice. The habitation of our justice, man. Go ahead. Any more? Even the Lord, the hope of their father. You see that? They know where our hope lying at. They know where it comes from. It comes from the Bible, man. They know these things. But what we got to do is stay strong in this truth. Stay strong in what the Bible says. We celebrated Purim last night. Mordecai taught Esther these things from young. And she listened and delivered her nation and killed the ones or had them killed who was trying to kill her and her people, man. What do you think what happened to the white man? He know his death is coming. He know it. But his pride think he can stop it. No, he can't stop it, man. The most high power is in the midst of this head. All we got to do is change our lives. All we got to do is live like how the Lord said live, man. Fight them words, them demons in your damn brain, but do what the Lord say do. Let's go back to the article, brother. Okay. Bell was recently asked by Winfrey on her network show, Super Soul Sunday, mm -hmm. how close Christian churches are to accepting homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Bell said they are close and warned that if they don't, they will become even more irrelevant than before. Let me tell you something, man. He ain't talking about the Christian church. He's talking about us. That's, me. That's like a warning to us. You understand? Christians accept homosexuality. You got to thank it's all in the choir. Right. You got to thank it's homosexual every day in the Christian church. So it is. Huh? Talking about they close. Yeah, they ain't listen, they talking about us. They talking about Israel, talking about UPK. But guess what? We ain't gonna be irrelevant. The fact that you say this, you know we a problem. The fact that this comment's coming out, you know we the ones stirring the pot. Go ahead. I think culture is already there and the church will continue to be even more irrelevant when it quotes letters from 2,000 years ago hmm. and their best defense. Hold up, who the ones that quote letters from 2,000? We the ones that do that. That's right. The church don't do this, y'all. This is a direct attack against the brothers in the school, man. 
against the truth, man. Against what the Lord got laid down on earth. And let me tell you this, I, let them come with it. Come on. Come on with it. I love a battle. I love warfare. And a man who control life and death, he loves warfare too. The Bible says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The most I love some warfare, bring it on. We ain't gonna stop hitting them streets. We ain't gonna stop making YouTube clips. We are not gonna stop having lectures. We gonna push the truth all over the earth and you can't stop it. Read it. Okay. When you have in front of you flesh and blood people mm -hmm. who are your brothers and mm -hmm. sisters and aunts and uncles and co-workers and neighbors and they love each other and just want to go through life with someone. That is a lot. Oh, listen, let me tell you something. The white man is crafty with his words, man. They trying to use that softness, that love, love, love. Let me tell you what love is, according to the Bible. Love is to keep the Lord's commands and his laws. Yeah, and they're not grievous unto you, meaning they don't cause you no grief. You do what the Lord say do, man. That's love. Love and deed and truth, what the Bible says. Your actions and living is truth. That's what the Bible says about love, man. You understand that? Now, give me the book of Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, Kai. Let's get into, man, real quick on what he's saying that we should not be doing. And I'm going to give you what Moses told us to do in the wilderness. And if we choose the Lord's commandments, we're going to live. Well, evidently, we didn't choose them, which is why we the hell in a land called America, which is why we had the history of the slave ships, man. They trying to erase that, too. One article we got, a guy, one story we got where they said they took slaves out of the narrative and put worker. You, are you serious? They trying to erase slavery from existence, man. <clears throat> Esau the devil out. I see how the Lord said he got to die. He got the parents from the face of the earth, man. He know what he did is wrong, and he knows punishment is coming. He's trying to change that up. It's ridiculous, man. Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, start at verse 10. 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 10. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of of the Lord thy power mm -hmm. to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law. And if thou turn unto the Lord most high thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul, for this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. I mean, it ain't far away. It's right in front of your face, Israel. We do what the Bible say do. The white man saying these words are irrelevant. They don't mean nothing to him. He know that by us not doing what God say do, he will continue to have us in captivity, man. Read. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, why shall, who shall go over the sea for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. Mm -hmm. But the word is very nigh unto thee. Meaning the word is right there with your word is close to you. That's what he's saying there, man. Moses saying the word is right here to you, man. Israel's right here. We got to do what this say. Go ahead. But the word is very nigh to thee. In thy mouth and in thy heart, thou, mm -hmm. that thou mayest do it. Mm -hmm. See, I have set before thee this day mm -hmm. life and good and death and evil. Mm -hmm. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy power, mm -hmm. to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes and his judgments mm -hmm. that thou mayest live and multiply. Mm -hmm. And the most high power shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. And listen, we ain't blessed, you know that, right? <laughs> it's the exact opposite because of what we're doing. Being evil to the Lord. Keep on reading, brother. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. But if thy heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, mm -hmm. I denounce unto you this day. That ye shall surely perish. That we shall surely what? Perish. We shall what? Perish. We shall what? Perish. Meaning we shall die, man. Go ahead. And that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land where thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Mm -hmm. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. 
that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou that thou mayest love the most high power, mm -hmm. and that thou mayest obey his voice, mm -hmm. and that thou select it, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the most high swear to thy fathers. To Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Let me tell you something, man. We do what the Bible say do. We hold on to these words. We live these words. You understand that? We live them, we quote them, and we do what the Lord say do, man. Listen, y'all. Let's get ready for a quick break, brother. Take a quick one, take a quick break, y'all. But then when we come back, we got some more. Got another video clip I want to show you on um <clears throat> putting your kids in these white schools, man. Joining white society. And how they feel in white society, man. You understand that? Be right back, y'all. Live on the ISUPK Let the Hebrew Speak, man. And also, too, we got a clip to where the UN went inside the school system in America and how they say that the black schools are downtrodden, the best word I can say, man. You understand? Be right back, y'all. Live on UPK. Let's go. A teacher! That's the truth. truth. 